Well, hello everybody. Um, we're working on the grand opening again. Well, I did it once before. We did it again. I've reached 99%. All right, Mr. Voiceover, we need an audio track here, please. Can we get your help on this one? This is Carrier Sunday. Why, certainly. Oh, we got a... I think mean, that was a dramatic pause on another clip that was running on YouTube. I got playing in the background. But this is Carrier Sunday. Um, this is the first Sunday that we actually got to use the Ranger. We did use it a little bit. Uh, we're on the Hishu right now. I got a couple clips of the, the last couple of battles. Um, I'm going to put a couple more together. I'm getting about two battles per clip if I speed one up. Um, this clip was already put together. That's where the, if you hear in the background a little bit of bass playing, that's Mr. Editor playing the bass along here. So that's already embedded in the video clip. And now we're doing um, audio clip over the top of that after we exported and brought it back in. Now I could take this clip that's what 1455 and then I can play with the volumes. That's what you hear in the background maybe is I have the both uh, the laptop running. I have that set at a certain volume. I have the PC running and it's the same clip and they're offset just a fraction. So you hear one, hear the other, it creates that echo. And that's what I was trying to play with that there. So I have the same clip running, but if one's a fraction ahead of the other one. And um, that was the old Grizzles Den Speedway. Well, that's one of those clips. That's where that soundtrack is coming from. And um, I'm just playing with the different audios, trying to create... Um, uh, almost like a, a, a studio type atmosphere that going on and that just by <laughs> just in the basement you using different noises and ambient sound to create uh, something that really not there but that's all right that's part of the that's part of the uh, make-believe you know the the creativity and be able to use these programs and stuff and create something other than just sitting there playing and destroying which is fun as long as nobody's getting hurt <laughs> I love flying these aircraft I think it's fun as heck we um we we we're learning though uh, I still it's difficult to get ahead it's difficult to and in their kind of the player at right now is trying to figure out um, or get good enough so that when you do go in you know you're gonna get a hit it might not be devastating but you're at it see right there incapacitated that means he slowed down that 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 ship commander slowed down and allowing our team maybe to do a little more damage to it um, I've, I've like as you can see up there there's one ship we we took one down uh, we have a few torpedo heads so we're getting better at this oh there goes that carrier <laughs> uh, and that's what I've been doing too is I've been going out and hunting for the carrier and letting the team know where it's at so that if there's somebody that wants to go after it they can or I'll I'll do a hit I'll take a um, and this is kind of using what I got available is I'll, I'll hit something on the way out and I still have enough aircraft and enough uh, healthy aircraft that I'll go on in to find the carrier or go after the carrier once I've found it. So it's like do a hit, keep going. Um, but if it's a ship that doesn't have very great AA and you can kind of just keep working on it. Um, that's just like this Sunday. I had a few battles where, and there was one that came down. Right, I think I lost that one, but it came right down to me and two others. And 
I sunk one and I wasn't able to get the last one and I think it ended on time. I don't think he got me, but I wasn't able to get him either. And I tried. <laughs> I dropped bombs and I dropped torpedoes and that little bugger RNGs on his side that day. <laughs> but I survived that one though. I survived the I survived the fight. You know, the fight another day. But that takes silver too to fix your ships and stuff if they, if well, all the damage and stuff that. So I try to keep my carriers away, but they find them. I've come back and my ships are taking damage. Uh, and two is like when you're flying out on a mission, if your carrier takes a hit, you feel it in your controller. It's, and then it, it took a little bit to realize, oh man, I'm being hit. So if you feel that, if you want to, man, Go back to the carrier and get your carrier going in a direction because uh, pretty much a carrier can outrun anything in the game uh, except maybe DDs. Uh, DDs are tough if they come after you because <laughs> they're hard to hit, they're hard to target because they're small, they're maneuverable, and by the time you launch your, your, your weapon, they've already moved or uh, adjusted. So. Um, and the DD you can you can uh, duck and weave and stuff a lot easier than you can with a battleship. Trying to get a sh battleship to turn so that the bombs coming in ain't landing. <laughs> Good luck on that one. But uh, that's where you start out. You you know aircraft are coming. You know start you know slowing down, making moves, taking care. Don't don't go in a straight line because then it can line up on you. It's part. Of, you know, it, the, the transverse speeds and it speeds up. The time it takes to speed up, slow down. And, uh, oh, we got a sunk. We did sink one on that one there. Oh, the, I love this carrier. They, uh, I think what we have five carriers. I think we have five carriers now. Um, we acquired the Ranger, which is a tier five. That's the next level up from the Langley. I purchased um, a premium that I think that's a Japanese carrier, which is oh that's a perfect carrier. It does a good job. Then there's the Hermes, the Shu. So let's see the U.S., the Japanese. Then there's one I cannot pronounce. I'm not even gonna try. That would be the Russian line one. So there's like uh, five carriers right there. And what that does, that gives me five carriers to go for the first win of the day on each carrier, grabbing all the bonuses that comes with. And um, if you happen to have enough little money, if you have the balloons enough, man, do the premium. Premium runs really get you a little bit extra. So and that extra adds up when you're going trying to unlock the different tiers and different equipment and stuff. So like I said, right now I'm advanced. I advanced on the Langley. Uh, I think maybe to his shoe. But see, there's that. There's that. Once I get that Stars and Stripes uh, thing done, I'm gonna be working on the Kaga. That's gonna take a long time, but you get the Kaga at the end of that one. So I'm gonna start working on that next. Um, that's where the premium comes in. You can run two of those at a time, or Right now, I don't have premium time, so it's just running one. Uh, the Stars and Stripes Chicago is on hold because I get to California, which is the battleship, after uh, two, three more segments. But that one's been taking a long time. I've started out a while ago, so it's like <laughs> just to get to California. It's, it'll be worth it though, it'll be worth it. I think I have the paint for that already too, so it's already got a paint, permanent paint job, I do believe. And that would be the California. I already have five carriers, so I can I can be patient. We'll do the grind for the Kaga. And the, the um, there's the Kaga and there's another one too. I can't remember what it was. But uh, there's two of those lines you can run them. Each one gets you a carrier uh, captain, so that'll help out on the captain end of it. It'd be nice to get the uh, Japanese commander. 
because that would really help out a lot. They help out quite a bit, um, but still, a lot of it's learning how to fly the targeting. Like, here we go, we're going in as a torpedo run. And depending upon your speed, now that's part of it too, going in fast, going in slow, depending upon the AA. Now this thing's pumping out some awesome AA. Um, now we release, there's a point that you, if you release too soon, they won't detonate. If you wait too long, they won't detonate. So there's that little, fine little area you got to, see I'm down to one plane now. Now send them back to the carrier. And there's a, a real, uh, see where it says auto, that little green thing? That's your auto repair. That's the ones coming back, getting fixed, putting into the pool, and they can create another flight from those. Uh, refueling them and rearming them. If they get, I think if they're destroyed, though, you can't replenish those. You replenish the ones that make it back to the carrier. And that's what happens when, see, you, you, like right now, if I hit go back to the carrier, it'll take a little bit for these aircraft to get back, depending on how far you're going out. Um, that's why if you can, it's nice to move your carrier closer to the flight, but then you're taking the risk of being attacked, because then if they see you, or if you can see them, they can attack you, and they usually do. <laughs> like I said, there's been a few times I feel that controller shake, and... When I'm flying, it's like, uh-oh, I'm taking hits. Well, it gives you an indication, man. <laughs> Get back quick, because you could either launch another flight and go after what's targeting you, or you can readjust your carrier so that you're not getting stuck on something and being an easy target because you're not moving. There, we got a hit. See? There you go. There was two of them. We started to cause, we started to cause flooding. That's what the carriers can do. That's what your torps can do. Uh, I'm getting better at bombing. I've been releasing to the point that the ships are ready to go on by when the, the bombs are dropped. So I waited too long. And I should be dropping just as the crosshairs are coming up on the bow. So the ship will travel and the bombs will come down right in the midship. And... Um, uh, let's see, which one is it? The Rhine? Would that be the German line one? That has the AP. So with AP bombs, you can cause uh, citadels. HE, we cause fires. And uh, cause a fire in the deck of a carrier? <laughs> yeah. Eh, it's not a good day for firefighters on a carrier. But... <laughs> They got that big flat top, they make a nice flat target. Um, can I say, uh, hit me here, maybe like on, on the back of your t-shirt? <laughs> Look at that. Tracers, they found them. All right, go get them. Good job, everybody. And I'm um, getting to the end of this clip. We got some more carrier footage. We'll put another clip together with some more um, audio tracks and maybe go and put another... Uh, guitar and maybe some drum work going in too so with that we're going to go into the voiceover acting area where uh, Mr. Editor and Mr. Voiceover and others are doing the voice acting and thank you everybody good job Mr. Voiceover where's the audio tracks what happened to them I deleted them as, as he says shrugging his shoulders we need new ones okay Okay, we'll put in two new ones. We do have the scripted one at the end, so we'll leave that one there. We have room for about two more tracks. We'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching, everybody. Oh, I had to delete a track. We were doing well. I got it fixed, so we're, we're doing good. The park is looking great. Um, this is Old Grizz. I want to thank you for watching. Um, we are done with this park here. I'll actually say that's it, and we will move on to... Uh, Grizzles Den Gingerbread Village. Come on, we gotta use the script. Cut, print, and post. Put it in the can or on the shelf. Hope everyone's having a good summer.